And before I start this video, uh, I would like to put out a trigger warning that this video does involve sexual assault. So if you're very sensitive to that topic, then I highly suggest that you leave the video immediately since, considering the title, I have become one of those victims. Anyways, thank you and I hope you watch until the end. If you read the title, yes, I am the victim of sexual assault. And I'm here to, to tell you guys about my experience with it. So, so yesterday, I was picking up some groceries at my local 99 cent store in 7-Eleven. And on my way home, I was walking by the clinic that is at the same area that um, the 99 cent store was at. And in this old homeless guy caught my attention. He asked me uh, if I could sit down next to him. But I thought that he, he just wanted somebody to talk to. So then I sat next to him and I already had a bad feeling that something was going to happen. So I sat next to him and um, he started talking to me about why God is good and how we became God's biggest creations of life. And then out of nowhere for whatever reason, he started kissing my hand. And then he started you know, kissing my cheek. And I was feeling quite scared. And then he started kissing my ear. And I was like, okay, something is up with this guy. And then he started hugging me. And that was when I knew what he was going to do. So I politely tried to break it off, saying, saying, oh, I gotta get back, I think my mother's worried about me. But he kept hugging me and kissing me, and then I eventually b b broke it down, and then I ran away as fast as I can, back to my apartment. So then I arrived home, out of breath, wearing a mask, <laughs> and I told my mother, and then I told my neighbor what happened. So they came up here to check up on me because he saw me running. And after I told them about what happened, uh, my mother called the police and my neighbor uh, went out to find that guy to tell him off. And then it felt like 30 minutes to, to, to an hour, my neighbor came back and he, he told me about what he said and what the guy said. First off, the guy said that I was kissing him first, which I will deny. That is not true. I did not kiss him in any way, shape or form because I was incredibly nervous. And also because he's an old man. Like the age gap is huge. Like what the f- And then he told my neighbor to tell me that he quote unquote apologized for what he did. And if this guy's watching this somehow, just know that I do not forgive you. And I hope you get what you deserved. So, so then the police came in and I told them about what happened. And then they said that th they will keep on the lookout for him. And then as a, as a current, they actually found him, and they're going to arrest him. Which made me very, very happy. If you are a victim of sexual assault, please know that you are not alone. There are there are other victims who have their own experiences with that. And it's okay to wait until you are ready to talk about it and tell everyone about it. Hell, I, 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 I did not even wait. I told my mom, my neighbors, my friends about what happened. <laughs> right after I got home. Like, I was that strong of a person. And if you're still not recovering from your experiences, then I will leave the most recommended hotlines in the description below. Thank you for hearing my story to the end, and I hope that you spread awareness of sexual assault. Usually this is like very hard for, for, for victims to to talk about, but I was s s s drunk enough to tell everyone about it on the same day. And as a little plug, I actually already told the story on, on my Twitter, so retweets would make me very happy. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.